YouTube frogs, listen. What you guys are seeing right now, this is probably one of the most disgusting Yellon builds you will ever see. Apocalypse Yellon. 38k HP. R5 Simulacra. Oh, he went for Heart of Depth, okay. One of the options for a C6 build. I see. Constellation 6 and Double Crowned. Not Triple Crowned yet. All right, let's see your attributes. Okay. Wow, you have 40k HP with this crit damage. I almost expected you to have an HP percent circlet. But before we continue, a word from this video's sponsor, DNF Duel. The long established RPG Dungeon Fighter Online is now here as the latest 2.5D fighting game. This action packed, smash style fighting experience features intuitive command inputs, fresh 2.5D fighting game graphics, and dazzling skill effects. These effects will literally take over your entire screen, and the masterful animations are breathtaking. With countless incredible characters to play, DNF Duel is no doubt the next best fighting game to hop into. Whether you jump into story mode, arcade, survival, free battle, or queue up in online matchmaking for continuous competitive battles, you'll be sure to find endless action and fun in every game mode. Also, since DNF Duel uses rollback netcode, you can rely on low lag and seamless multiplayer experience worldwide while you earn your rank. DNF Duel is now available for purchase right now on PlayStation and Steam, so click the link in the description now to get started. Now, back to the video. Perfect piece, low roll though. I can see the low rolls. It's a perfect piece though. All those stats are in fact useful for her. Ooh, it is. Wait, this is this is crazy good. How, how good is this? 1.76. Yeah, this is a crazy good build. Damn, you guys have fucking sick builds, man. Zero wasted stats, zero wasted stats. Two wasted stats. 43, that's a 43 piece. This is a 40 piece. This is a 33 piece. Is this an onset goblet? Oh, almost. One defense roll off from perfect. Damn, close. And then your mask. I see how you have that crit rate. Dude, what is with you guys running crit damage mask and aqua and still having this crit rate, man? 17.1 you have 80 crit rate so slight optimizations here obviously you want to perfect your build even more just get a four line piece here and get more lucky forehead <laughs> swap either attack stat here for uh energy recharge swap the defense here for hp percent and then switch a roll into crit rate or crit damage and then uh swap the flat attack for recharge other than that it's a pretty solid build i think that i would rate this yellow build this is below a 90 but it's really good because a perfected aqua build is with HP percent circlet with perfect crit stats. But I would say that you're probably like 88, 89, considering your overall rolled pieces because you have a good amount of recharge and good amount of HP percent. So, all right, founder next. Honestly, definitely not the best Yelon you'll see today by far, but Emblem Domain sucks. So using this in the meantime, okay. So you have two builds you're going through. This is a 6260 with 130 recharge. Oh, that's pretty good. I can't really see the stats though. This is a 10, 11.7 piece, a 7.8, 14, a 10, 21, 11, 12, and then a crit damage mask with uh, six crit rate. I think generally these are good though. Uh, your other one is your elegy build with 186% recharge. Wow, you're still going crit damage mask even on the elegy build. By the way, YouTube Frong founder rolled for a C4 Yelon strictly to buff Hu Tao. Let me say that again. He rolled for a C4 Yelon just for Hu Tao. That's it. Not for Yelon herself, but strictly for Hu Tao. That's why the Elegy built, right? Because Elegy on Elegy Yelon is a great support for uh, Hu Tao. The extra elemental mastery transfer, improving those reverse vaporizes. All right, pretty respectable builds founder. I mean, I think like they're generically good, but they're like not amazing, you know? All right, Dr. Lucara's Yelon. 20k HP, uh, Aqua Simulacra, Noblesse Tenacity, one possible build, Constellation 1, and uh, Crown Burst, very nice, good choice. 46 Hydro, wow, your crit damage is insane. I think we definitely need to sacrifice your crit damage for more crit rate, but that is a uh, very, very high crit damage, along with, uh, I think this is Energy Recharge Timepiece, because that's 51.8, which is a perfect amount. Okay, let's see your artifacts then. Very nice, 28 crit damage. Okay, starting off with a 41 piece. 7.4, 17.1. Okay, not bad. It's above 30. Definitely could improve this piece. Energy recharge piece with no crit rate, but has crit damage on it. Could improve as well. 
crit rate, crit damage, hydro damage bonus on set if you're doing the noblesse version. Attack percent is a dead stat, but uh, not bad. And then 16.3 crit rate. So you are carried by these two pieces for your build. But yeah, I think the only thing for you is to sacrifice your crit damage for more crit rate because you want your consistency to go up since so your crit damage is so high. Yeah, it's a work in progress, as they said, chat. There's definitely room for improvement that you guys can definitely see. Yeah. All right, moving on to Nico. <sighs> more Yellons. Aqua Simi Locker, very nice. Or Emblem, very nice. Constellation 2, very nice. Triple Crowned, based. Oh, it's good. You guys are running lower recharge. You guys are running full damage if you have uh, Constellation 1 or higher. Very nice. I actually did not mention this in my video with regards to if you have Constellation 1, how much recharge you have. But I said that you can go under 160. Anyways, stat-wise... 36 with 10% HP. It's a good piece. 35? I feel like your better pieces are actually your tougher ones here, right? Almost 40? Oh, it's actually it's actually more balanced than I thought. Okay. It's actually just a bunch of 30 pieces. I see. This is on set. Can't complain about that. Oh, this is a nice piece. Two rolls here and two rolls here. Wow, this is a perfect yellow piece. Depending on your looping capability, I feel like this recharge might be a little bit lower than I'd like. But overall, I think it is a fairly strong build. Definitely room for improvement, but it's, uh, it's a very good start. Very good start. Very good start. <sighs> Next one. We have uh, Bichungus. They said, Mommy, yell on, please. I mean what? Hmm. Elegy. Oh, okay. Elegy for the end build. Two emblem, two heart of death. Constellation one alongside 688. M uh, elegy build. It's a good ratio. Okay, good stats. This is exactly what I would expect. Looks to be really well built. Energy recharge time piece alongside good crit rate damage. Very nice piece. 35, good recharge. Only thing is a swap out attack for uh, HP percent. Wow, you have two. Wait, these pieces would be so good on an attack scaler. Wow. This is like a Raiden piece. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a that's a lit piece. Okay. Very nice. I see. These pieces are uh all attack percent. Okay, nice piece. Okay, it's actually this one's okay. This one obviously could have been better, but um do have a little bit of wasted stats here. Crit damage is a little low. 17.9 crit rate. Bro, you guys need to stop getting carried by your stealthy masks, man. We have seen way too many insane crit rate masks. Like, what the hell is this, dude? Jesus. I've, I've only been seeing like 16, 17 plus on the mask these days. All right, Cross wants to share a build. This build is not as disgusting, but you wanted to share it for the frogs. All right, 40,000 HP with Aqua Simulacra. Crit rate is 79.8, very good. Crit damage is very good. Energy recharge is good, okay. With a C3, oh, this is good. Oh, this is looking fairly well-balanced build, okay. Let's see, perfect piece here, perfect piece there. We got one, one, two, two, one. Very nice plume as well, 40. The time piece is a 46. Goblet is 35, but it has flat 747 HP. Oh, this is actually really good. You have an HP percent circuit with 16.7 crit rate. This is a very, very good build. Hmm. Another frog managed to run HP Hydro HP. Very good build. You managed to go the really well-balanced one. I would say this build is... Just above a 90 quality. It's very hard to reach this point. The only improvements that I can really see are this goblet. This is a really good build. Wait, Cross, you said that this build was not as disgusting. This is a very top-end Yellon build. You have excellent recharge for C1 or higher. And uh, your crit rate crit damage are very solid with uh, HP percent circlet. I don't know like what you were expecting, but like it's hard, it's hard to reach this spot. Okay, uh, CC Cunt, your Yellon. Aqua Simulacra R5. Emblem, C6. Triple crown. Okay, another another gamer. You are definitely running a crit mass though because your HP is below, 35K, uh, below 38k. Oh, I think you might be running energy recharge timepiece. Oh, you aren't. Oh, this is good. This is, this is, this is good. This is good, but, oh. 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna shut up first because like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Bro, this is 45 on a three line piece. This is not even a four line piece. It's disgusting. Damn, what the f These are high. This is high roll as hell. 7.5 high roll and then 3. Point That's a 3.9, 3.9, 3.5. It's a very high roll. Wow. Okay. Um, damn. Jeez. Only fucking shit. All right. 45, 43 with perfect subs. Perfect subs again? With recharge substat? Whoa. There are not many wasted stats in this build, boys. One dead stat, zero dead stat, one dead stat. Okay, this one, this one could be better. Considering how good your other pieces are, this one could be better. But not bad still. Yeah, it's really good. I think if you wanted to perfect your build even more, this is your off piece right now, which is the crit damage piece. HP percent would actually be a little bit more beneficial for you. Because you could totally cut out 60 of the crit damage here and then boost your HP up to like 45k. If you wanted a little bit more of like, you know, even more like well-balanced perfected stats. Just, just food for thought. If you do happen to have an HP percent mask, yeah. Okay. Senpai's Yelon. R1 Aqua Simulacra. Four Emblem. Constellation 6. Triple level 9. Wow. You see 6 Okay, C6 R1. What is his crit rate? Dude. What the f guys and your crit rate substats? <sighs> nice. Also, good recharge for C1 Plus. It is minimally effective recharge for C1 Plus. And if you have double hydro, you have no problem. So. Alright, let's check out the artifacts, boys. It's a 1.75. Okay. 16.7. 40 crit value. Okay. 38.9 crit damage. You lucky son of a bitch, dude. This was four line start. The only way this could be better if this was recharge. A lucky piece. Off piece. <sighs> yeah, it's good. It's really good. 42 with 11 recharge. It's, it's a really, really good... Yeah. And all, yeah. I mean, what can I say? Really good build. It's not like perfect, right? You could have perfected rolls here. You have a dead attack roll, a uh, dead defense could be recharged. Two defense lines here, attack percent here. Uh, this one's the only thing you could do is HP percent one line here. And then mass is a double flat HP. But overall, it is fairly solid. Yes. I would say that this build is about like an 80 to an 85. So has room to improve. But the crit rate is exceptional. The crit rate is definitely an ex exceptional. F2P in the chat says 1.85 Favonius build Yelon. Chad, do you guys think this is a bait? Is that a bait? <laughs> All right. I have your username right here. Okay. If this is bait, you're banned. You have been trialed right now. <sighs> All right. Let's see. <laughs> Why does it have rust? <laughs> okay. If you had Favonius Bow, you are running HP percent hydro crit rate, which is perfect. Okay. Your crit rate crit damage is 10.521, 5.835 with HP percent, 10.922. Oh my god. Wait. Hold on. 10.521. 5.835 with 5% 5 HP. 10.922.5 with 4.5 recharge. 3.1, 33.4, 5 5% HP. And then 28 crit damage, 5.8, and 6.5 recharge. You are not lying. What the f, dude? How many dead stats do you have? Two, three, four, five. So two from this, one here, two here. That's five dead stats. And then seven dead stats here. But, 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 four line, four line, three line, three line, three line. Okay, two four line pieces. Okay. You said bet. Best Yelon. You have one of the top Yelons that I've seen. You have one of the top Yelons that I've seen. This is a near perfect Favonius bow Yelon. Well done. Okay. You've succeeded in the trial. You have been granted a pass. There you go, bud. Nice build. All right, how's your Yelon doing? It is a Skyward Harp. Okay, first recommendation. Skyward Harp is not that great on her. Base attack, useless. The crit rate crit damage is fine, but it's much more valuable if you run a Favonius Warbow, which you'll have for free, or the Event Bow, or if you want to use a three-star weapon, you use Recurve. But Skyward Harp is not going to do it. Uh, your, your Yelon is much weaker than what it could be, okay? Wait, are you planning on C6ing? Why do you have four heart of depth? Oh, it's two-piece. 
No, okay. The ten okay, chat, the tenacity looks like heart of death. You can't blame me. You cannot blame me. They fing look the same. Bro, they literally look the fing same. They're both like the same cup. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Oh, the build's me, fine. This build's fine. If only there was text at the bottom. Shut the f up, founder. Alright, how are your pieces? Your trade's good. How's your crit damage? Also good. You are lacking significant on recharge. We do need this this piece right here to be energy recharge. You have two HP percent. Okay? Definitely need recharge. This is way too low recharge for a C0 build. Biggest thing, okay? Knock out the rest of the Fangs. Yell on. Fang. I'd be looking. Okay, LG build. If you're running support for Hu Tao, this is best. Four emblem seems fine. Constellation zero. Crowned already. Nice. 30k HP. Uh, you're good on the HP threshold here. How are your stats? 61, 84. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, how are your stats in general? So I think the only thing is that your crate is a little bit too low for this crit damage. If you can soften your crit damage for more crit rate, that'd be best. Like your energy recharge is more than capable. Uh, how are your pieces? Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Ah, that's where it is. If you get a crit rate mass, you'd be in a lot better shape. Because as much as crit damage is great, your crit rate... It's like, it's it's a little wishy-washy, right? Because if you do a crit rate mask here, then your crit rate is going to be about 85. So it really depends. How are your other pieces? Other pieces are good. This piece is the only piece that I'm a little shaky on. Because I noticed that if you do drop this crit damage, then you're going down to 120. And then your rate is going to be a little wonky. Navigating it's the best the that you can do right now, I think. With a few different yeah, it's the best from. that you can do. Okay, I think it, it's kind of hard to swap this out. It's a good, good general pieces, though. LG looks good. Looks fine. 55 300. Aqua Simulacra. Two Heart of Depth, two Gladiator Finale. Okay, you cheated, dude. <laughs> you put two Gladiator on her. Think. Like, sure, you do have amazing crit damage pieces, but it is cheated. The two Gladiator is a useless set. I mean, you, you, you got the flex that you wanted to show off. That's fine. All right, next one. I don't remember what the f I was supposed to show for this one, but we're going to figure it out. I think it might have been the Yelon. Aqua Simulacra. Tenacity Noblesse. Oh, this was the C6. This guy C6, but was a pleb. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Triple Crown C6, R1. All right, let's see. You're on two Tenacity, two Noblesse. That's look not bad. This is too low recharge. Even for C6, this is too low. If you're using double Hydro, you don't have a problem, sure. But like, I would definitely recommend getting at least like 15 to 25 more. All right, what do you got? How are your pieces? Well... That's a good piece. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's a nice piece as well. Ah, your Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet definitely could be improved. This one is, uh, this one needs a little help right here. Good piece. I mean, good stats for her. Yeah, just this. This is holding you back. Generally, you have really good crit rate. You could, if you wanted to optimize it a little bit more, you could go HP percent mass, but that's just an optimization. But yeah, generally, I think it's just the Goblet. This is a C6R5. What can you improve here? Looks good. Hooray could be higher. Recharge is good. 140 is a good threshold for C1+. Her damage is good as well. Good stats. 80%. Let's see Let's see uh, the pieces. This is a good piece. Have every stat that you need here. I think the only thing is your crit rate. HP, Hydro, crit rate. Yeah. Okay. So in order to improve this build more, we need Looks crit rate like substats. Oh, I see. This is attack percent. These two pieces can be better. For sure. These two pieces. Your flower and your feather. Need, need help. This doesn't have crit damage on it. Definitely can can assist here. And this is good. And uh, this is not bad. So needs crit damage here. These two can just be entirely swapped because you don't have that many useful stats here. 20 crit damage, 14 crit damage, and like HP. But like uh, you're actually lacking crit right here. Okay. All right, boys. Mashy Zung, AR60. He's F2P, by the way. Yeah, an F2P with R5 Aqua Simulacra and Constellation 6 Yelon. Wait, your build? Hold on a second. Your build is near perfect. 200% HP, 200% crit damage, and a Hydro Goblet. Wait, this build is near perfect. Okay, your HP, time piece, and circlet. Three pieces with flat HP, and HP percent on the feather and the flower. Wow! Wow, you have 21 crit rate on your mask! What the f-
Do you guys see this? Do you guys see all the crit rate stats on the right hand side? That is perfection. That's disgusting. 7.8, 7, 16.3, 7, 14.4, 21. They do not have a... <laughs> YouTube frogs, listen. What you guys are seeing right now, this is probably one of the most disgusting Yellon builds you will ever see. They have a nearly perfectly optimized build with 200% max HP, 200% crit damage, 90% crit rate, and then a Hydro Goblet. The 120% recharge is not low because this is a Constellation 6 Yellon. Ah. I cannot believe you have 90 crit rate with no weapon or circlet. This is strictly sub stats and her ascension stat. That's absolutely disgusting. Crit damage, 21, 22.5, 13.2, 6.2, and Aqua Simulacra's 88.2. This is a very well-optimized Yelon. That's a very well-optimized Yelon. I think the only thing that you could improve is recharge substat on any of your pieces yeah if you if you wanted to optimize a little bit turning your flat defense into recharge that's about it i would rank this build for yellon a 95 out of 100 youtube frogs this yellon build in terms of optimized stats uh, i would say is a 95 out of 100 in order to make this slightly better the flat defense rolls would be energy recharge substats that you see here and here and then the hydro goblet instead of uh this attack percent would be crit damage yeah it's very hard youtube frogs hello we have just completed the 2.7 edition right after yellow was completed i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the flexes taking a look at different people's builds and how they're building stuff hope you guys got a little bit of insight on what i would say is like really good builds right now other than that you guys know where to find the twitch stuff thank you guys very much for watching as always don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you next time take care